Hello everyone, welcome to Off-Road Gospel. I'm Jeff, this is Robert, and this is Zach from Top Shop Media. And you may have, or may not, if you haven't watched it already, I have an episode that talks about when our plans don't work out. And uh, <laughs> so this is the re-record of the lesson. We have tested the equipment to make sure the sound was working. Yeah. And uh, we're kind of, kind of do that. So I've been saving up some, uh, some of the uh, clips from the trails we were doing. And so we're going to just jump right into the lesson today. Take it away, Zach. All right. So I wanted to, well, the first time we did this was, it's going to look a little different than this time because uh, it kind of transformed into a, a, probably a little longer. But um, I want to read from Thessalonians, 1 Thess Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus for you. And when we first did this, I was coming out of uh, a season of, you know, just a lot of questions, a lot of questions of like, I've had a lot of like, why God, like, why God, you know, what are you doing? Where are you? You know, I think we've all have been there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it was, you know, my son being sick and, you know, me had some health problems and, and I had, I had God speak to me very, I've never heard God in a different audible voice, but God spoke to me through tongues of interpretation and it was very cool. I'll never forget it. And it was, you know, I was praying about what, my, what was happening with my son. My son got diagnosed with epilepsy and I was having a hard time with it because, you know, the boy loves Jesus. And I had my lot of why questions mm -hmm. and, you know, I was praying and, and it was a very, very powerful moment where God gave me a really peculiar, peculiar tongue. And I spoke it very, it was very defiant. And then he gave me the translation and it said, lean on me i will sustain you lean on me and I, I immediately felt joy i felt a weight lifted um my son has been pretty good um no issues and i'm thankful for that but it reminded me that we don't have to be living a bad life in order for things to happen yeah we don't have to yeah. be out of god's will in order for things to happen things happen things yeah. just happen and, you know, it's so cool because in the book of Job, the, the story of Job starts out with, you know, the devil and Jesus going back out, back and forth. And it basically leads into God basically try Job, you know, it, it's, it's, but what's so cool about that is God had faith in Job and God or Job had faith in God. But I think sometimes we need to realize that God has faith in us. Yeah. God has faith in and who we believe in, and God has faith of, of what's inside of us. And I think it's easy to kind of get so caught up on circumstances and, you know, where we, we, we get our perspective skewed and clouded to where we forget who's in control and what's inside of us. Oh, yeah. And that yeah. we ask God, like, why? I'm doing everything right. Well, sometimes things just happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, I found myself just just kind of in that spot. And, you know, fast forward a couple months and I uh, was doing some, some work for the district and I ended up getting diagnosed with a heart condition and being super transparent, I'm sorry. But well, it's so cool sorry. because God has just just spoke to me through this season of my life. And I felt, I, I really felt led to share this. It's just, you know, God will speak through us. You know, you look in, the book of Daniel, where Daniel gets thrown in the lion's den for, for doing what? Praying. 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 For having a relationship with him. Yeah. Doing what God had called him to do. Yeah. Uh, Paul and Silas got thrown in jail for what? <laughs> Preaching. Preaching. Preaching the gospel, yeah. And yeah. you know what? And, you know, then you go to Job. Job was faithful. Yeah. Job was, he was, he had a reverent relationship with God. And all of these stories were, they weren't doing wrong. They were doing what God had called them to do. They were they were doing everything as they should. But what was so cool is you go back to Daniel. What did Daniel do when he got in the lion's den? He prayed. 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 Yeah. What did Paul and Silas do when they got thrown in jail? Prayed and worshipped. worshipped. Prayed yeah. and worshipped. Yeah. And it's so cool, you know, that, you know, I would have, I don't know about you, but if that were me, I would run. I would be so scared. <laughs> I would just run as away as fast as I could. But no. They didn't. They didn't. Yeah. they didn't. And 
you know, and, and then you have Job, uh, you know, his wife, Kurt, you know, Kurt, why don't you curse Jesus and, you know, curse God and die, curse curse God God and die. die. Yeah. you know, and, and that, and that's the thing. And they, neither of them did, because I believe, and maybe this is for a leader that kind of felt like I, like I wanted to give up ministry. I wanted to be done. Like, you know what, God, this is a reason where I could take a step back and focus mm -hmm. on myself. But I don't think that's, I, I think that's the enemy. I think that's a lie because if we have our relationship with God, we have to stop questioning if we're in God's will. If we have a daily devotion and a daily relationship with him, we have to stop questioning if we're in his will. And yeah. we have to know that we're in his will yeah. and we have to hang our hat on the promises of him. And it, it's so cool because Paul and Silas could have ran out, but they didn't. They they went back and saved um, the jailer who eventually mm -hmm. saved his family, the same story. Yeah. you know, and the same with Daniel and the same with Job. And it's so cool to see, like, I don't know if there's a young minister that, you know what, or a, or a person in ministry, or maybe you're just tired. I think it, your relationship with God, your daily walk with God is first and foremost, the most important thing. Yeah. And it's so cool because the Philippians, and I, I heard this, this um, quote and it rocked my world because Philippians is known as the happiest book in the Bible, yet it was written in prison. Moral of the story is do not let your circumstances steal your joy. Yeah. And, you know, heart, be fruitful in hard times. I, I, I think I want, I think I kind of want to leave you with that is just be fruitful in hard times yeah. because it's a season and we have to stay focused on, on, on our calling, yeah. stay focused on our anointing in God. And because if we get so caught up in our circumstances and our problems, it's going to be easy to quit. Oh yeah. And that's exactly what this enemy wants. That's exactly what this world wants, especially right now. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And I love how you said, um, you know, just things happen to good people, yeah. you know, and I, and I, and I love the Bible and it's a 66 book love letter on how things, <laughs> yeah. how things happen to yeah. people that life happens. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people, Oh, go, man, I must've been bad. God is doing this. You know, I've been there, look, not same situations, but you know, I've had those questions of why God, yeah. why God? Yeah. Um, and you know, and it took a long time for me to actually even get an answer for that. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, what I thought was a curse ended up being a blessing, even yeah. though it wasn't, even though it wasn't God's doing. Yeah. It, it, but he turned it from something that was bad into something that was good. Yeah. good. And, you know, and I'll leave you with this. If, if it's not good in your life, God is not done. Yeah. Well, and I love when you you brought that out with Paul and Silas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, they were delivered. They got victory, and they were set free, and they could have, like you said, just yeah. left. Left. But the mission and the purpose was greater than their quote-unquote freedom for the moment. Their mission and their purpose brought freedom to an entire household, and who knows how yeah. many others beyond that that yeah. aren't written about. Right, right. And if they weren't there in that moment, in that situation, in it being bound in prison, not just in prison, but bound in prison. Yep. Yeah. There would have been no praises, no nothing would have happened. Sure. No no jailer that was that was saved. It would have simply been they would have just been off doing their thing. Yeah. And so sometimes the things that we're stuck in in dealing with are 100% God's purpose and 100% his will Yeah. because what he has is so much greater than we see. Yeah. And I know one thing I try to do is instead of asking God why, it's, it's, it's asking God what. Yep. Yeah. What, what am I supposed to That's learn good. from this? What am I supposed to, why am I here? You know, I think so. I think we have to change our perspective of why. Yeah. And, and you know, it's, and if you look at Job, I mean, just like you had said, I mean, Job, Joe was in a rough spot. Mm -hmm. I mean, this dude, this dude was faithful. I mean, he was a great man of God. The the scripture compliments him many times in his relationship with God, and and it's and here he is losing everything. Yeah, and it would have been easy for him to say, "Why, God? Like yeah. I'm done." Well, and that's you know? the thing. His relationship was that strong that God exactly. said, "Hey, what about Joe? Yeah, you heard about him? 
He's yes. telling the enemy about you. Yes. It's like, you know, I'm like, yeah, I want God to really see my relationship. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted that. You know, yeah. you know, uh, all right, you know, you know yeah, cool. Have, I hope you like my relationship with you, but maybe, you yeah, know. I'll pass yeah. on that one. Thanks. <laughs> and I, I think that just goes to explain of how what we have. Yeah. I, I mean, I just, that's something that, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a youth pastor, and that's something that I'm, I'm constantly reminding these students with. Like, you, the enemy has nothing over you. Nothing. Yeah. Like, if if the if the enemy wanted to to hurt you, kill you, beat you down, it would you have already been done. Yeah. He can't. And and what's so cool is you know you have it wasn't, and I I don't think that God necessarily had faith in Job, but God had faith in what He had with Job. And I think that's a thing that kind of goes back is just, you know, what we have with God is so important. Yeah, that, and, the relationship, yeah, absolutely. Because I believe it can change our entire perspective yep. on every part of our lives. Yep, it can. If we, and, and great, it's a great point, you know, we have to want it. Yes. We have to, we really yeah. do have to want that and build that relationship with God. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And it, it is kind of, it's kind of one of those things, you know, where, and and Job Job could have compared. He could have been like God. No one else is going through these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'm done. You know, and I found myself there. Oh yeah. But it's just like no, that's that's not what God wants us to do. We must stay focused and stay stay looking stay looking up. And I believe God wants to change our perspective on things. Things are are always going to happen. But I think another thing where where Job kind of helped himself is not comparing. Yeah. I think sometimes we can compare what we go through and what other people go through. Yeah, okay. and it can, I think it can plant, plant division and bitterness and oh, yeah. excuses to give up. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So. And I think another, just a little side note on it, when you're going through it, have the right people in your life. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Job did not have the right people in his life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Job did not. <laughs> they did not help him. They made it worse. So yeah. here's the thing. If you find people in your life that are... You know, like, well, what, what's what, what'd you do wrong? Yeah. It might be time to uh, let a different circle of people talk into your yes. life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. You know, I, I, I'm so thankful for my mentor. Um, I talk just about every week. We have the same time. And, you know, it's important to, to talk to somebody. It's oh, important absolutely. to, you know, you're not alone. There, there's so much power in numbers. And, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and this, the, the church is no different. And, I just, uh, that's one recommendation, you know, find someone that you can trust, find someone you can, you don't hold back anything from. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I, I, I love my wife. I talk with her about everything. There's nothing I hold from her, but there still needs to be someone in my life where I can, I can talk shop. Absolutely. And that's something that has really taken, uh, to be honest with you, has helped me in ministry and, and my, my career and just everyday life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. I think that I think was awesome. That's it. Yeah, that was, that, awesome. was, that was awesome. Well, uh, as we kind of close this up, do you mind kind of leading us in prayer? Absolutely. All right. yeah. No problem. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing us together. Lord, I don't know, God, what's in this audience. But Lord, I know that I've spoken what you've placed on my heart, God. I believe, God, that maybe I've went through some of these things, Lord, to, to share and witness your grace and glory yes. and power to someone Lord, I pray, God, that you keep your hand in every situation, Lord. I don't know what the situation is, Lord. Your arm is not short. And I pray, God, that you continue to bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So again, thank you for joining us today. So glad that you were part of this. I hope this left you encouraged. Uh, if you haven't already, maybe go and check out Top Shot Media and... Zach's company and maybe follow them. I believe he's on Facebook, Instagram, uh, also on YouTube as well. And so uh, look, look them up. If you have any needs for that, reach out to them. They do a phenomenal job and I know they'll be a blessing to you. And again, thank you for being with us today. Look forward to seeing you real soon out on the trails.